Economist Elson Lo noted that with the signing of the third audit agreement, it is time for the state to provide Guyanese with the kind of diligence, responsible governance they deserve. He made this call at a media briefing on Tuesday. The third audit must not repeat the failings of the second audit. Guyanese have continually been frustrated by the PUP stance on auditing offshore oil expenses. It has varied from casual irresponsibility to allegations of corruption and incompetence. This is even more urgent, given this third audit must interrogate some of the costs associated with the gas and energy project pipeline. Minister of Natural Resources Vic Rambari back in August said that the government is on track to award a contract in September for the audit of the several block expenses for the period 2021 to 2023. With regards to the third audit, I think we are well on course to ensure we sign that maybe in a month. In September, sir, we'll sign that in September. The press was not invited to the October 10 contract signing for the audit of the oil giant's multi-billion U.S. dollars expenses incurred for the period 2021 to 2023, which was awarded to local consortium VHE Consulting. However, Lowe said that the third audit must have several important components to ensure transparency. There should be a clear, concise summary which typical Guyanese can read and understand. B. Critical issues like whether interest is being charged and the total amount in dispute must be comprehensively addressed. The economists stress that costs relating to natural gas pipeline must be addressed separately and robustly in a third audit. Disputed costs must be addressed clearly and in a way that allows for swift action in the, uh, in the event arbitration is necessary. E. The operator must be held to high standards when it comes to the provision of information and responses to auditor questions. Lo, who is also a member of the opposition, emphasized, and I quote, the scope of the audit must not neglect the reasonableness of costs rather than merely identifying whether they are eligible to be recovered, end of quote. Continuing, there should be a defined timeline for the completion and release of the audit, end of quote. Antonio, the reporting for the HGP Nightly News.